Parrot is on here. Okay, so we are left off. Bottom of Utesama Bay's four lines up from the bottom. All right. Yeah. So who Gavra? See it? Four lines up. So who Gavra? The Zorak Lagita Levit did the So a guy threw a get to his wife, Labani Dani, in between barrels or jugs. And the Shtaka Mazusta. So he threw a the parchment there, and then when they looked, they saw it was a mezuzah. So the question was, is that, is that, was that a get, and this is a different mezuzah, is a different thing, or was the thing that he threw a mezuzah? So Rav Nachman, a mezuzah, between, to find a mezuzah in between barrels or jugs, that's not, that's not a normal thing. So, must be that whatever this husband threw, that's what is. That's what it was. So therefore, she's not divorced. But But that's only if you find one mezuzah. But if you find two or three mezuzahs, right? So since this one was there before, so then these the 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 other ones are also there. Vegita, and maybe we're gonna say that the get was taken by mice. Very hard to understand this lumdas here, saying that if there are three mezuzahs, two or three mezuzahs found there, right? And they only saw, and Rashi says they only saw one, one star thrown, right? So it must be if there were two, three mezuzahs there, must be that these are these were the things that were there, and he must have thrown a get, but the get was taken by mice, right? So by Pesach, we're not conscious that the mice take things and go from room to room, but here we are? No, here, no, by Pesach, we are. Oh, no, you're saying, ain't conscious in Shem Ager I hear, you hear Paratus Kasha in the Mishnah and the Shabbos, the second Mishnah in Pesach, I'm sorry. It says, we're not conscious that a Chulda will drag things. Is food different than uh, get, than Shtarim, in terms of what mice Yeah, because mice drag. are attracted to, to mezuzahs. Tough. Maybe, maybe I don't know, Taka. I don't know. That's a good question, right? They were saying right, we're not. Mice eat food. That's what they do. I, you think I, they just I understand. Eat it? Maybe they were checking the mezuzahs if they're kosher. I hear. Or no, <laughs> mice go for a, for a, for a cloth. A cloth is from a from a dead animal. You know, it's a mice eat that. Mice eat garbage. You know. Not well, the... isn't that what people do when they have mice? They check their mezuzahs. <laughs> I thought they put a picture no, of No, they put a picture of Shia. Oh, Ramaran. Put a picture of Shia. <laughs> it's way way cheaper than the mezuzah. Just photos that a picture of Shia for 50 cents. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the but, uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, the mezuzah would have a photo from Shia. <laughs> Drive by the shul and just take a picture. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So I hear I hear your kasha parrots. I don't know. I don't know. Fine. Fighter. Ahu Gavra, the all the Baikanishta, there was a guy who was going to Shul. Shaka al Sefer Torah. This guy's a real smart guy. He wants to really save himself money on a get. So he goes into the shul. He takes a Sefer Torah. Yavla la the visu. He gives it to his wife. Vamra la. Hagitech. This is your get. Right? Now, because there's the parsha of Gitin in the Torah. So he's giving her the whole Torah. And included in that is a get. Right? I don't know if this guy's a smart guy or a dumb guy. How can you say that's Lushma? Oh, we're going to get to that in a minute. Very good. So, Rabbi Yaisa, Lamai Lechashlo. Right? Meaning, why should we be chashed that this is a kosher get? If, because maybe the guy wrote a get on the Torah, meaning that he wasn't using the Torah part of the get, he was using this invisible ink. Right? Like we said yesterday, this gall nut juice, whatever that is. Right, so we say ain't may milan or gabi may milan. It doesn't gold nut juice doesn't gold nut juice, right? So therefore, we said right to and we they put gold nut juice to make it permanent. So if you write, so it couldn't be. Imishum krisus to ispa, and if you say okay, so like we just said that this krisus it says the safer krisus in the Torah. 
like Rachamim said, you need you need it to be Lishma. The Sefer Torah wasn't written Lishma, but Leka, you don't have that. Whenever you're going to say maybe he gave money to the cipher in the beginning in order to, he said, and by the way, when you write the Sefer Torah, when you write the Parsha of Gittin, have in mind it's my wife. So what it says, the, the, the Gra takes out the, 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 the Shina, right? You don't have, you need his name, her name, the name of his city, the name of her city, and you don't have that. Okay. Meaning, it's not, uh, so it's poshit that a guy gives the Sefer Torah to his wife as a get, it doesn't work. So then why is Rabbi Yosef even, even, uh, what are you, it's an interesting kash. You don't see the Gemara ask this so much, that often. Rabbi Yosef, my Kamashmal. What is Rabbi Yosef trying to teach us? Right? But what is he even talking about? He should just say, forget it. This is not a, that's not a halacha. Why is he giving it so much attention? So he says, Shein me milin, gabi me milin. Right? His whole point was that this gold not go on top of other gold nut juice. That's, that's what he was trying to teach us. And that's it. Okay. Fine. That, so that's that's number one. Amar of Chista. Get Shekasu Yeah. In this scenario, would she have to go to Mikvah first? Isn't that a big Shaila? Sifri Taira? What do you mean? Whether Anida can, can be in the room with a Sifri Taira even. Yeah, but what... Isn't there a Fiskei Tshuva? What are you talking about? This In this scenario where he's giving her a Sifri Taira, it's problematic. Stamazite is problematic. All the safe. Why is it problematic? No, I think the women Lamaisa could all the safe for Torah. Not Bishas Tuma. Um, okay. Why do you assume that she's. Well, they're getting divorced. I would assume that she hasn't been in a while. In general. We don't know if he was not a mitzvah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why we have to make that assumption. Uh, they're married for 55 years. She's passed that smart already. And he said enough is enough. <laughs> yeah, that's very... I mean, that, that's most divorces, Rachman? 55 <laughs> years of marriage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're pushing 40 now. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm saying, yeah. All right. All right. Anyways, I don't know. Fine. Omar of Chista, get your kasu shalai lishma. If you have a get the in shalai lishma, the heveral of kumus lishma. And you wrote a kumus, you put a kumus, a pen, and you wrote on top of it. It's a bonon la machlaikis, Rabbi Yehuda the Rabbanon. That's a machlaikis, Rabbi Yehuda and the Rabbanon. The Tanya. Haresha, Yitzarach Lichtoi Ves Hashem. If somebody had to write, Hashem's name in a Sefer Torah. We got to. We really Gershon should be really saying this tonight because this is a lot. A lot of his, uh, a lot of Safra stuff or Elio. All right. So uh, uh, somebody's writing a Sefer Torah and he had to write Hashem's name. Yud Kei Vav Kei. Vinishaven Lichtov, right? Vinishaven Lichtov Yehuda, and he had, he wrote, he wanted to write Yehuda, right? Meaning he really had to write Yud Kei Vav Kei. But he really wrote Yehuda, but Tav Allah hit the Dalit. And he didn't put in the Dalit. So then what did he do? He wrote Yud Kevavke. Right? He skipped the Dalit. The cipher skipped the Dalit of Yehuda and ended up writing Yud Kevavke, which is obviously Shaloi but Kavana. So what does he do? Avril of Kumas, Umakachai. He runs over the Kumas and he's Makadashit, meaning he wrote, he wrote Yud Kevavke, right? Which was Shaloi Lishma. So then he just took. The pen and went over the Yud Kevavke and now made it into the Shema. Dear Rabbi Yehuda, that is not Min Hamufchar, right? which is also an interesting Lashon. It's not the choicest thing to do, right? Not preferable, right? So, so that would still be good. It sounds yes, it sounds like it would still be good, right? Um, I mean, I don't, um. I know, I'm not so sure. I think we passkin that it's no good, right? I think we passkin it's no good. Gershon? Yeah. I think the basic machlaikas here is Rabbi Yehuda holds it to Suffolk whether it's good. 
So Maver Alav Kolmus works because there's no Mechika, it's the same Sam, it's the same uh, Dioi. So you're not being Mechik to the bottom one, just in case it is, but you're also writing it with Shema. And the Chachamim say, there's nothing you can do. Writing over it doesn't help because it's Ksav Gabi Ksav, it doesn't work. So Ein Hashem and Amufka means don't do anything, but you have a but you have a shame. Shame Hashem is a shame Hashem, but I, I you didn't write it with Kavana in the Shema. Okay, no, no, it's still a shame Hashem. Yeah. Okay, but Lamaisa, I think he means that he is not Yotza. So what the Shail is why he says Ein Hashem and Okay. Uh, also, how would this help? Like it, 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 just throwing random words. If you're supposed to be writing Yehuda and you wrote Hashem, how does that help? In the, it's, it's, you're not writing a real Pusik then. You mean it's in the wrong place? Yeah, like uh, you can just throw words around in the Torah. No, obviously. Or in the mezuzah. Be... How would that work? That's why I think what happened, right? I think that's what the case, that's why it says it's, um, he had to write Hashem's name, but he forgot that he's writing Hashem's name. Uh... He thought he's writing. Anyway, that's why the Gemara says it in such a key. He he had to write Hashem's name. He was spacing out. He thought he was writing Yehuda because he thought he had to write Yehuda. Then he realized he did have to write Hashem's name. So Lamaisa was Shaloi B'Kavon. Right? Okay, so so we say it's a Machloik. So the same Machloik is by Sefer Torah is going to be by Get. No, maybe it's not true. You can't necessarily compare the two cases. There... You need um, by a Sefer Torah that you have to make Zek Kaili, right? We say it every day in Az Yashir. This is Hashem and my gosh, my God, actually, not my gosh. <laughs> and I, I, you have to make him uh, Anveyu, make him beautiful, meaning this is literally Hashem's name that you have to make sure that it's nice. So it has to be written with Kavon of Aleka. You don't have that because it wasn't written properly. Aval Hacha, but by a get, Loi, we don't have that issue. So therefore, you don't, you can't necessarily compare the two in Yonim. Yeah, fine. Which is very interesting because what comes out from this is that Zek Kehli if you hold that it doesn't work, Zek Kehli usually means an enhancement. And here it's saying that it's it's mamish no good, but maybe that's the reason why it says it's an Hashem and Amuvchar, because it's only a Zek Kehli thing as opposed to, as opposed to Halacha Psuka. Okay. Fine. Omar of Chis. The Gemara over there in Shabbos, when it says Zekeli on Vehu, it says Hesalach Afani with Mitzvahs Noah, Sefer Torah Noah, Tfilin Noah, Lulav Noah. You know, so it's 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 a, it's enhancing the mitzvah of itself. It's like beautifying the mitzvah. So the mitzvah Stam is a Sefer Torah. So, but Zekeli on Vehu is just telling you to hey, make have a. I don't want to say it's to me a mufkar, but it's 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 a hither mitzvah. That's that's a, that's the. All right, that's uh, okay. The Gemara asks, "What does it mean on vehu? Ani vehu is all the other shot, but uh, but his uh, halachonic mitzvahs no." Says, you know, whatever. Okay. Fine, by the Amar of Chis, the Yechina lemefsalu lekuli giti da alma. Right. He says, "I can make every I can make every get in the word in the world puzzle." Right? Amar le Rava. So Rava said, "My timer. Huh? Why would you want to puzzle every get? What's the reason? What do you? Why would you do? Not not why would you? But how are you gonna do that? If you're gonna say because it says you have to write it, right? And meaning the man has to write it. And here she writes it for him. Meaning, so Rashi says that." Really, the man is supposed to pay for the get. But the Gemara Baba Basra says that we make the woman give the money because otherwise, if the man has to pay for the get, he's not going to divorce her. Again, the same saying that we have almost every day. The Takonos Agunos were afraid that if you're going to make the man pay for the get, he's just not going to write it. So we say, okay, tell the woman to pay for it. So since she's the one paying for it, so it's really her get. So he didn't write it for her. Okay, so says, well, the Rabbanon. Maybe the Rabbanon using Hefker, Bezdin, Hefker, however that works, are saying that, yes, the woman pays for the star and the get, but you end up giving it over to, you end up giving it over to, uh, he, she ends up giving, well, through Bezdin, even if she doesn't have it in her das that she's giving it to him, but Bezdin, Hefker, Bezdin, Hefker makes it that it goes to him in order to 
we master the uh, the thing the the get okay so then that's not a reason enough to pass the vela mishum dechsev v'nosan right maybe because it says v'nosan and he has to give it to her he's not giving her anything because um because how much does it get worth why Dilma Nasinas get he it's talking about actually giving of the get so that's not a reason to pass I'm sorry I didn't really run on sentence there maybe he was saying well it says Venosan you have to give her something oh get is worthless what are you doing with the get right so maybe he didn't give her anything so they can't get divorced so the one says no maybe the get itself is something substantial Teda to Shochum Misam because they sent from over there, Koswal al al Isur Hano, Isur Hano. If you write a get on something that's Osur Bano, which you're not allowed to get Hano from the get, kosher, the get is kosher. Now, if you're not allowed to get Hano from it, let's say you write it on uh, Bosa Bacholov. I don't know. You make a parchment out of Bosa Bacholov, right? Which is Osur Bano. And how can the get be kosher? Right? How can the get be if uh, if um, uh, how do you say it? It's it's, it's also by no elamai. If the get is kosher, must be, must be the reason why it's kosher is because of uh, um, it doesn't have to. It's it's the get that's being given, not what it's being written on. Right, okay. Yaakov, I wanted to make a chilek between something that's also by no and something that's like my bliss rife. Let's say like noisa, so it doesn't exist. If you write it on a piece of noisa. As if the noise is not here, but something that's regular asubana, whatever it is, I don't know. That that's here. That's a messias. The thing is physically exists. The noise you're supposed to burn it. It's not supposed to be here. So what do you? Say? So you mean it doesn't I mean like kisuse mechta shiura? You want to say like it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. Let's say it like that. Yeah. Thing that doesn't even exist. Yeah. So, so what, only sorry, I know what you're having kur, not straight. What? Oh, this Gemara, this Kasher, this uh, Kasherus of the uh, Isra Hano would only apply to something which is Asra Hano and Chayv Kvura rather than the Isra Hano of the Chayv Srebe. Why? That's what you're saying. Every Isra Hano is either Chayv and Srebe or Kvura. Most of them are Chayv okay. and Srebe. That would be the same, okay. same problem as Nicer. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, but it's if even if you're going to say that, bottom line is, is the get itself. It's almost like a a uh, as a spiritual giving. Could that be what was that a way to call it? Right. That's what basically what the Gemara is saying. We don't really care what it's written on, as it's the it's the it's the pnimius. Oh, mamish, it's the pnimius of the get that's going right. It's not the chitzonis. We don't care about the no. Chitzonis. The gemara is just saying you need to you need to do a misa. The gemara is not saying that it actually has to be giving her something. The point is you do a misa of giving. Why do you I, have to go? The, yeah, the, 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 it's a, it's, it needs a misa. The Indian of Croesus needs a misa. Not that there has to be a bar a bar pruta or whatever you want to call it that you're giving. You could still do a misa with less than a shavu pruta. A misa of giving with less than a shavu pruta. You just didn't get anything. Right. Right, but so okay. why can't you say the mice in a scene is what you need and not the actual giving uh, that the person got something? Right, I hear that. Uh, okay, I hear, I hear. That's uh, that's a that's a lumdish way of looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Except this, you need the kseiva. You need the kseiva because without the kseiva, it's, it's just <laughs> say, oh, all right. You're, if I say you you are divorced, it means nothing. You could write. You could write on something that's worth less than a shavu. It has to be some kind of. I'm not talking about less than a shavu I'm talking about something that doesn't exist. It's high of Lisro, If it doesn't exist, right? Okay, but that's what I'm saying. We don't care. Seems like we're saying we don't care. Yeah. Okay. Vaiter Gufa Shulchan Mitam. So now we go. Now we talk about the Surah Hano. So they sent from over there, right? Um, meaning, oh, when it says Shulchan Mitam, means it's sent from Eretz Yisrael. If you write again on Yisura, I know it's kosher. Amar Rav Ashi, Afanan Nami Tinino. We also learned this. Al Ha'ola Shal Zayis, on a leaf of a Zayis, an olive, an olive leaf, right? So meaning, Rashi says it's not worth anything. Yet you see our Mishnah says you're allowed to write again on an olive leaf. 
not worth anything. So therefore, we don't care. You see that Sunday uh, Tasabana is also not worth anything. And the get is a good get. So when it says, no, well, that's maybe not a comparison. Dilma Shani Allah Shazai is the Chazilitz Terufe. Ah, a major thing that it's Chazilitz Terufe, meaning you can use it in combination with a bunch of the things that will make it into a Shava Pruta. Meaning, Rashi says, you could take a bunch of leaves and you could make it into a mattress. Right? Um... Or you could feed it to your animals, meaning you can make it worth something. So they're with company, with, <laughs> right? What's it the problem? is worth something. How do you say something's not worth something? Feathers, not, yeah. But the guy who has a sweat of uh, a mattress factory has 400,000 feathers in his factory. Right. It doesn't matter one. Right. They say that's not worth anything. It doesn't matter. Oh, but I'm the Hapamina is ridiculous. What do you say? It's not worth anything. Oh, no, but the Havamina is by itself, it's not worth anything. But when you combine it with the other things, then it's, let's say the guy's feather factory burns down and he has one feather left. It's not worth anything. Use well, it, it. Prove, it proves if he had insurance on the other 400,000. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> um, yeah. So, right. But if the mice, you have one feather, it doesn't work. But if you have lots of other feathers, I think that's goof of what it's saying. We didn't discuss this by the bone, uh, we're not with the bone, by the, and the sheer and shvuas, by the, what do we do it again? Uh, um, organ donation. Transplant. We had to the holes that, are, that you're allowed to transplant eyes. Revuntament. I was revuntament. Yeah. Less than a sheer. So some people wanted to tie it. We didn't get into this, but it's chazi l'sterufe, right? Because you're putting it into a body. So Mamela, when you take the eye, good, the eye maybe is worth less than the Shava Pruta, right? But when you come back and when you attach it to a body, an eye is worth a lot more than a Shava Pruta. Right? So that's the it's the same, same type of thing here. Okay. Fine. Tanya Rebbe Rebbe Oyman. Kisu Ali Surahano, kosher. If you write a get on a Surahano, it's kosher. Nafak Levi. And Joshua Mishmei the Rebbe, and he said in the name of Rebbe, they didn't praise him, right? Because he was saying it over from a Yochid. Mishmei the Rabbi in Vikosua. Then he said it over in the name of others, plural people, and they praised him. Al Milchus Kavasei. Kavasei, we say that Allah is like him. And therefore, it ties a little bit different pshat, right? Um, because it has to do with Tircha. But either way, they, the Maisa, once he said it over, shame others and more and uh, multiple people, then they would makabal it. Fine. Tarabon, because of us, oh, so now we get into the Aaron Kaplan posted, uh, posted that video. It's very good. If anybody didn't watch it, if anybody didn't watch the video that uh, Stefanski, at least Stefanski posted, what they posted it on our on our Daf chat, the excellent, excellent examples of, of this, of, uh, of this here. Tiago, where yeah. the, Reb Chizda had said a statement that he could passel all the gittin, and then Rava went through two different havaminas and was daicha both of them. Right. What is there any context to what Reb is talking about at the end of the day? I was wondering that myself. The, the, it's literally like just like one. They, they, we dropped that whole entire discussion. Yeah, I yeah, I was. I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to look into it. And maybe I did have enough. I don't want to say I didn't have enough time. Probably did have enough time. I just didn't look into it. But yeah, it was. I was I was wondering what uh, what the story was there. Anyway, okay, I don't know. Fine. Talk about it. Because of a you have to actually write the get. You cannot chisel it out. Right. Meaning, let's say you could take uh, you could take well, like when you write on something, so you it's lifted up. You you're writing. You're actually writing a letter. What happens if you just push? down around letters and then the then you're actually not writing like like a stamp you wrote you wrote, you wrote, a, wrote a get on a matseva yeah like like watch the video naftali i want to yeah. watch the video if i want to watch the video i would go to his daf <laughs> <laughs> yeah but aaron cut out aaron cut out like a 27 second video don't be such a banana <laughs> i'm joking but i understand banana, so what do you do the other six days a week <laughs> no, but I'm saying I saw the example, but what about a stamp? Yes, yeah, same concept. Yes, it's not, it's it's not chiseled. Yeah, yeah. Not chiseled. talk about with uh, in the Megillah with the stamp with the Hashverish stamp, right? If you have on a stamp, we had it in Shabbos also. Wax right? seal. 
right the wax seal so if the st- if the stamp is coming out on the on the ring and you push it in so then that lahar would be a letter but if you push around then it's not a letter I meaning the point is you have to write the actual letter so we'll see more about that so the member the hakika lav ksiva you saying that just chiseling it out is not writing or minulas gestira evet you have to big sav shall gabi tavlo pinkus and evet that went out and the big sav meaning they wrote him a star Shal Gabi Tavla was on a tavla on a tablet. That's not like what I'm using now, <laughs> right? That's not the tablet we're talking about. Although I was wondering if that would be considered a ksiva, right? If you write on a tablet, right? Or digital or anything like that. The tavla uh, was not. I asked what? about once about my machine in my back. I, it has a controller that has writing on it. I asked if I could move it, if I can push the button on Yamtif. It has a zero or whatever. He looks at it for maybe five seconds. It's Kaisif. Okay. Well, because, I mean, it has to do with this sugya. Anyway, so I ever that his his get was written on a on a, on a tabla or pinkus or a notebook. Yatza l'cheres. So then he goes out, meaning it works for him. Avaloi b'ksav shal gabi kipa van tuchtari. But not if it was written on top of a kipa, which is like a yamaka, but it means for women, right? Or an tuchtari is some other type of... Uh, um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, said it's embroidered. Yeah, no, I'm saying, but it's uh, Antukhtari is uh, is uh, oh, an ornament. Sure. Not an ornament, but uh, yeah, there's Tapestry. another street. The women like to use accessory. It's an accessory, right? Right. Uh, that's you know a fancy ex- whatever. It's embroidered in there. That doesn't work, right? So whatever it is, you see that chokak is okay. One is talking about a chak tuchas, which is basically, um, uh, how do you say it? Where the get is puzzle is where you dug out around it and you never actually formed any words. And the chak the chak yirichas is where um, you you uh, you put the you put the the words. On top of the of the of the board of the wood thing of the tablet, right? Meaning, meaning the first way chaktucha is, is if you just push everything around it and that ends up forming letters. The the is not like that. Okay, so it says well, For and, practical purposes, chaktucha is when you have, let's say, a, a, I don't know, a, a hay. You write a hay. In a tefillin or something, and you you're meichik the. No, it's not a good example. If you do and the mem, the mem right. sofis, and then you're meichik the space. How it wasn't the luchus. Okay, how it wasn't the luchus. You want to say? It was hanging. Huh? It was hanging. The and the mem and the luchus. Right, we have... Yeah, but you write an and mem, and then you meichik the bottom and half of the left leg, and you end up with a hay. That's Chak because you didn't create, you didn't write a hey. Right. You took That's away ink to make a hey. Gershon's talking about the practical part of when, when you're a cipher makes a mistake and he writes an end amendment of a dollar or a hey, right? And instead of writing the letter, he just takes away. Right? That's what it's saying. Okay. So the Gershon said, Tuchas. If the writing wasn't sunken in, Ella Bailet Kedin Rezava was sticking out like gold coins. Uh, din rezov, din rezov. The way you make gold is by pushing in the metal, right? Gold coins. So the Gemara says, it's like gold coins, but not like gold coins. It's because it sticks out. But like din rezov, the ilu hasam tuchas, there it was pushed in, and hacha yirechas. And here, there it's not pushed in. It's talking about where it was actually written on there. Okay, fine. So I'm going to let Ravina Ravashi. Raishma, right, when the when you put a Raisham, right? Uh, uh, this is what the way Rashi says it's uh, the, when the the what you co- Raishma means what you're coloring with. Michrets Charitz does that. You push it in, right, and therefore um, it looks like it's sticking out. I mean, you pushed everything around it, and or does it mean that you push it in, and that's what makes it. So somebody said before about the, the graves, right? So it's kosher l'shikha to read what it says on a grave, 
right? But that's only if the writing sticks out. If the writing does not stick out, then you're allowed to read a grave, which is why every grave, as far as I know, the writing is indented so that it would not be kosher le shikha. And therefore, we could read the sometimes graves. Sometimes stickers. Right, in Eretz Yisrael, sometimes there's stickers. So that could be an issue. I don't know. I don't know if that's considered sticking out. Especially after a while, they peel off and they start yeah. turning. Do that anymore. I think those are old ones. Why do we care how it's all getting written? As long as it's written. No, that's not. It does, doesn't have a din ksiva. It doesn't have a din ksiva. What makes it a din ksiva? You have to actually form the letters. If not... I write, if I write it with uh, my left hand, that's fine. Or if I write it with my foot, is it writing? Nobody said anything about a left hand. Writing stam with a left hand. Oh, if I, I write it with my toes, Zev, the Gemara brings a cipher from Mitzrayim in the time of the Gemara. Who wrote? With it, didn't have hands. He wrote. He was suffers with, with his feet. With his he had quills between his feet. Toes. Yeah. So I'm saying that's not a my even. Why not? Why is it any different than me indenting it or undenting it? Indent was. Because denting or indenting, one of them is so I'm asking, one of them what, 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 defi what, what defines what defines? I write. I don't know. You have to ask one of the denoyim. You're asking the wrong person. We have different person. words for know. different things. They're the same in Russian Kaidish, the same as in English. One's called writing. One's called engraving. One's called embossing. They're different things. Embossing and engraving are not writing, or but, are they? In Allah, what's the difference? That's what I'm asking. But in Allah, says the kasav. If and I write, if I write it with my mouth and a pen, is that called writing? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's writing. So why is it any? Why is it any less writing? Because you put a pen on the paper. What's the difference if you how you hold it? Yeah, you a you to... it's a is it's a shinui, so you're going to be Potter. But at least you're writing a letter. But if you're writing a get on Shabbos, that's a big emergency. Yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> Might as well give a safer title, like we said before. But uh, um, uh, I'm asking in Allah what's considered why why what's considered writing? How do we define writing? Pen on Not, paper. You have to actually form the words. That's what the Gemara is saying. You have to actually form. But the if words. I'm forming it with my fingers, is also forming it. Or if I'm putting letters in, no. indenting letters, I'm also forming letters. You didn't taking, do. You didn't do a maisa You did. I, you. You didn't do a mice Steve. You, know you know those magnets that you put on the ABC, you put it on a piece of whiteboard, and you could mag you could there's write no action. We're saying there's no action of writing. That's what we're saying. So miss, what's defining writing? In Allah. You just said forming the letters, not taking pre-existing letters and putting them together, forming them. Well, I don't know. It's, it's pre, pre existing letters. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, okay. Yeah, well, well, it's a ransom note. Yeah, we're we're in in the whole life. Life. You're going to get a newspaper and cut all the letters out like a ransom note. Yeah. Oh, I hear that. Oh, like what? Catlin said. Well, well, yeah, like, like Cholmoe. Yeah, what, what are you saying? Also, for Cholmoe, they probably considered the Christ. You know? uh, no, I can't be cut, but you were writing with a sheen. It might be Mutter on Cholmoe, though. That's the thing. So, oh, okay. Ich weiß this. So, Amalei Ravina Lorvashi, Roshma Michritz Choritz. When you're putting a Rosham, it's does it is it being pushed pushing it away, meaning you're not actually writing letters, or or you actually pushing it down, it pushes the actual goal down, and therefore it's forming the letters. I'm not exactly sure how this is different than the previous nafkamina. So okay, Amarle He says it's pushing it there. He's it's it it pushes it around the letters. Right? And therefore it's going to be puzzle. Meaning again, you have to pull the letters out, not push around the letters. Ace So they asked the Kashalaya Yakas for Shikaya. If the Ksav wasn't spunking in, Ella Bailit Kidin Rezov, it was sticking out like Din Rezov. He saw a type of Mikhritz Kharitz. So if you say it was pushed around, Habina Mikhtav, you need actual writing, the lek on Tom Bays now, and you don't have that. So Gamara says the same character as before. Kidin Rezov, Eloy Kidin Rezov. It's like coins, it's not like coins. Kidin Rezov. The boiler it sticks out. The like a dinner is of the ilu hasa megavai. There it's going from the from the inside, and you're sticking it out from the inside. And here you're talking about from the outside. I forgot to say I left out a very important point. We're talking about the tzitz. 
<laughs> Why don't anybody tell me who did the daf? I for, totally forgot to say what this case is. We're talking about the tzitz of the Kayan Godel, right? And they wrote Kodesh Lashem, whatever. There's a whole machloikis exactly what was written, how it was written. But the bottom line is it was written in gold on his, what do they call it? Head plate. The head plate, right? Tzitz. So the question is, how did they form those letters? Kodesh Lashem. Was it pushed in? Was it pushed out? So that's what the Gemara's... Uh, Talking about fine. If he writes her a get on gold, right on a on a gold plate, he gets a two for one deal. He says, "Here's your get," and then you have to also give two hundred zuz. If she was a basula, you got to give two hundred zuz when they're divorcing her. Got to give her money. So he says, "Here you go." Um, you take the ksuba and your ksuba, your ksuba money, and you get it at the same time. So Mao. What's the din? So, what meaning is this? Since he gave it to her as as the what do you call it payment for the ksuba? So now, does that also work as maybe now the whole gold plate became hers, and he's not giving her a get, right? Maybe it's not his get, like we said on Amad Aleph. Yes. Is, are you allowed to do it simultaneously? So that's that's also part of the shaila here because it's. And you give, you could give. I don't see why you can't give the ksuba simultaneously. But the question is, if they both happen at the same time, that's really what the Gemara is asking. You. If it both happens at the same time, so maybe the get before it was given to her. Uh, right? Maybe, maybe what? Maybe it became her get. It became metal at the same time. It became her get. So it ends up not being belonging to the husband. What do you mean? Again, again, one more time. Meaning, if if we say that the gold becomes hers, then then he's not writing her. We just said on a medal, if the man has to own the get, it has to be, he has to give it to her. Uh, so you're saying the, so you gave it to her, and it's you gave it to her before the get? Yeah. Did it come before the get was given? No, if it's simultaneous, it's simultaneous, no? It sounds sounds like to me from before we see that the the whatever you're writing it on is only a basis for for the ksav, but you need the ksav to hold on to something. Otherwise, the letters will just fall, fall into like scrabble. So it's just a basis and it has no value. So you're saying this is your get. That's the ksav, and then then the the gold that is written on. That's the ksuba. I think it's a gavaldic idea. I'm asking you, you want to do it simultaneously. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Is it, is That's it, exactly what I said. You're giving a ksuba before you have a chiv to? But the, that's what the Gemara is asking. I, right, essentially. That, that, I, the Gemara is asking it if it could be simultaneous. Right. Bzev, bzev, everything a woman owns, the husband owns. So, Mamano Shach. Either she got to get the, either she got it, she was Magoresh at the same time she got the money, or he got his money back before she was Magoresh. Maybe it's next similar. similar to the idea of get to the other boy in Maybe it's next similar. Exactly that. that. Question. Why can't he give it at the same time? Where in the laws of Gershon can he not give money? Can he hand her a, 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 a thing of, of cash at the same time he's giving her the get in, in, from the other hand? Why is this any different than that? That's simultaneous. If it's he has no let's see, he does it simultaneously. If he he has no if it's two no different hands, it's probably not exactly simultaneous. He has no well, chief to give it. Hold, you could do it simultaneously. It would be. There's a tad that you could oh, do things. They, they, even simultaneously. There wouldn't be a problem here if he gave her an envelope, and in the envelope was the get plus two hundred thousand dollars. Right. That would be fine, according to everyone that would work. Right, so I don't think he's asked the right question. I, the Gemara is obviously saying something else that's been up to this year. Right. The Shaila is here because he's giving her this get on gold, and the whole reason he's giving her the gold is to pay the ksuba, so the nasina is not mitam get. The nasina is mitam ksuba. If it's not mitam get, it won't work as a get. Yeah. I, listen, I think I think that, that what Zev is saying is that's essentially what the Gemara is asking. But uh like David was saying, but uh anyway, that's the Shila. So is is that's this what Tyson considered? says. Tyson says you didn't give yeah. it to Terrace Nasino. Right. So that's also part of the equation, right? I mean, that's was, exactly what that, that, that's exactly what Gershon's saying. Yeah. So what was it given for? Right? What's You're right. Okay, so Amarle Niskabla Gita and Niskabla Ksubasa. She got her get and she got a ksuba. 
right? Meaning he was, he didn't, he says, here's, here's the gold thing. If he gave it to her as a gold thing, he said, by the way, I wrote the get on this because I couldn't find parchment, but I'm taking back, I'm taking it back after you take it. So then that's not a Nasina. But here he gave it to her, right? But let's say now, each, now this scenario changes. Before, he was giving both. Now he says, here's your get, and the rest of right? Meaning, what's around the written part of the get is for your ksuba, right? So she was makabal or get, and the rest goes with the ksuba. Okay, what's the kasha? Taima the kashar. The only reason why it works is because he said the rest of the gold that's around the get is hers for the ksuba. Fine, halle kashar. But let's say there was no room around the letters, then lie. Then it wouldn't, right? It wouldn't be a get. So what answer? Right? Meaning we said that it is a good get. But here from this brisa, it sounds like only it's only a good get if it's only a good get if. Uh, um, if he gave the leftovers of the get, meaning what went around it, but if it's what's written in it, then it's not, not but if it's stomach, it didn't have anything around it, then it wouldn't be good. So it seems to be a kasha. Kumara says, Who I didn't have the lekashar? Really, it would be a get even if there was nothing, no extra gold around the written part. What's teaching us that the ikashar, even though there's extra gold, e omrala in. Eloi, Eloi, if he says to her, right, that that the extras is hers, then fine, Eloi, Eloi, but if not, she doesn't get it. Meaning, I don't know if she means she doesn't get it or it means that it can't go towards Aksuba. My time, Avir of the Megillah, so it's just to consider the Avir of the Megillah, meaning of the get. Right, meaning the husband says, oh, you know what, I gave you a get written on gold. And, the, you know, around it was some extra gold. She said, you know, you're asking me for $20,000 so for the Ksuba. So that I, you know what? That was worth $5,000. I'm only giving you fifteen. dollars doesn't work. He has to have said that the shas, when he gave the get, he has to have said that. That's what the Gemara means. But really, it does work as a good get. Okay. Next case. Tonor Abonon. Hareza Kitech Pana Yor Shali. This guy, really cheap guy. He says, this is the get. Your get is here, but, but I get to keep the parchment. Right? And Rashi says he means even, even the parts that have the actual get written on it. Ain't a Magoresha. She's not Magoresha. Because he never gave her anything. But if he says, I'm giving you the get on condition, you'll give it back to me. She is Magoresha. Why, why is that any different? In this case, why is it any different than um, uh, like the case of Isura No, where you didn't give her anything? Because... Because you have to have, it seems like you know, there has to be something given, right? So by Yisrael, no, you gave her nothing by that same logic. Right, but we're saying that he's not, we know he's not giving her anything, but he's giving her, he's giving her what's written in the get, right? So that's exactly what he's doing here. No, I mean, he's, here it's, here it's not, where, where are these letters? What are they on? They have to, it has to be on a piece of paper. Yeah, but it has to be on something that gives that he gives to her. And right? if you hold matana, matana, I don't know if I would go that far. I don't know. Maybe you want to look at it well, that that's way. That's a real matana. Rashi says it needs to be matana gemurah. So if it's a matana manasa achser shema matana, is this any different than a matana manasa achser? Is this worse? Because he's trying to split the baby. I hear. Which, I don't know which one. The first case. No, this case. There's two cases. The Almanasha the the Tatsu the is Amir, yeah. That is Matana Mastaxer. Right. So, according to Amanda Yomer, would that, if, if that's true, then it should be, what about according to Matana Mastaxer, Shwa Matana? No, he's, he's asking according to the other sheet, then, right? Here we're talking about Matana Mastaxer is Matana. You're talking about the, the, the according to Matana, it says it's not a Matana, so there was nothing there. Matana manas lahachsa means you give him a tana on condition that the person gives it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, the second case you're saying. Right. Yeah. Esruk. That's what we do with Lulav and Esruk. Right? When you want to borrow yeah. the first Lulav and Esruk, so you, you have to do it on matana. You don't have to, but you give it a matana on manas lahachsa, meaning the guy doesn't get to keep the Lulav and Esruk unless he gives it back to you. 
If he doesn't give it back to you, then the whole matana wasn't matana, he wasn't yoy. So that's a way of guaranteeing that he's going to give it back to you. Right? Okay, so that's what it's saying. So this might be better than that. Because here you don't need a matana, you need an asino. He's not giving her a gift. I hear that. Um, okay, maybe. Fine, let's see. Bye. The boy Papa. Bain Shita Lashita. What about in between lines? He says, I'm keeping the get, but not the words, not the not the parchment that has the letters. In between the lines or, or between each letter. My what's the thin? Teku. So very interesting. Because here you usually have a teku, you go the Gemara's asking about the take the safer the safer echod amarachmana that the Torah says uh, Sefer Echad, it has to be one Sefer, one Get, not two and three. And if the guy's keeping each line in between each line, that means he's got, he's uh, like like uh, Avi said before, it's like a ransom to a newspaper, right? It's uh, He's only giving he's only giving the letters to her, but not in between. So it's, you could look at it like a multiple Gittin, right? So why did the Gemara answer the take? Why is it a take? The Gemara says, Letzricha de Ma'ura. Right, so we're talking about um, they're still attached. I mean, he didn't buy the whole, he didn't buy the whole line, right? Not buy. He just did. He, he didn't keep the whole line, he, because you have kufs and lamids, right? Which go amish. Well, they see the thing is they can't really touch, but I guess they get close enough, right? I mean, I, but I, are they saying that they could touch? Meikara didn't. They could touch, no? No, they don't have to though. They can be a millimeter away. There's no cloth there that he can take. He's not trying to pass it with those book of Kavil or something like that. He's saying any usable cloth he wants. I hear. It's not usable cloth when it's a millimeter wide. I hear. All right. This guy Persian or Bukharian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. If he has a chazaka, that he owns this Evid, the get Kosov al Yodoy, and the Evid had a get written on his hand. Now, this is going to get into Naftali Lina. We're talking about how they, how they write it on the Evid. Right? And then they, the, get, the, the Evid ended up coming from, right? Meaning they had a fight over who owns the Evid. The husband said he owned the Evid. Then she says she owned the Evid. So, Mao, what do we say? Do we say, that she's the one, I mean, she came, when she, when they came to Bezdin, she had the Evid. So when you say that she had the Evid, right? And uh, and when he gave her the get, with the get written on the Evid's arm, so then she's kind of the get and the Evid. Or maybe we say, no, the Evid became hers on his own. Right? So, um, meaning it's not really... It's not he, she doesn't own him. I mean, basically, I think what the Gemara basically seems to ask is does the does the woman get to keep the Evid? Right? If the if the if the get is written on the Evid, it, does she get to keep it? Right? What does she need to keep it for? Why not? Why well, that letter? I don't know. Does she have to? What do you mean? That's the chas and that's the get. What does that have to do with it? Well, that I think that's the Shiloh. What do you mean? Uh, oh, the get. She needs to get a get. So she right. got a get. He handed over the Evid to her. So the question is, was that get, was the Evid, now that the Evid's hanging out in her house, is that because she was taka kind of the Evid? Or, or not? What's the difference? Do we have two items that see that the Evid no, was so given to her? Says, I think Rashi says. Rashi's saying it's a yeah, shallow of over here. It's not a shallow of whether she's kind of the Evid. It's more shallow of, do you even need, well, normally when a woman produces a get, we assume, based on the get being signed, that there was Adi Masir there, and, and she's Megaresha automatically. Here, we don't have Adi Masir. We don't know. We Rashi says. Well, what, do you mean? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? We don't have Adi Masir. Why not? Well, in a normal case, she doesn't have to produce Adi Masir if there's Adi Chasim on the star when she brings the get to Bezin. Here, you look at the, you look at the slave's hand. Itself, you, look the the hand, hand is, you look at the slave's hand. You look at the slave's hand. You see who's signed. Right, but the it's slaves are able to walk into her as so it's a little different than a normal get that can't walk. What's the difference of walk? She got the get. We have two. How did you, but where was the Masira? I don't so know. You, 
Yeah, it's tough. Rashi says Tomei we didn't see the Masira, but it's late. So right. Have... I'm saying in a normal case, I don't think you shake, shake the Evans hand. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So Omar Rava, the tape laid the cost of Shiachal is Daifu. Forget that. Why don't you say that maybe the whole get is puzzle because it's writing that you could be Messiah if you can forge it. Right? Um and and what do you call it? This uh you can just take the get, erase it, right? The guy's gonna take shower at some point or bathe, and the get's gonna become erased. So why don't you well, say don't that? they rip up the get anyway afterwards? Yes. So so, so the, the get the get gets gonna be gone get, anyway. Uh they they make cuts in it, they don't actually tear it up. They is cut, that a different is that a different? Yes, because it uh, has to have the ability not to be forged. That's part of the din of a get is that it cannot be forged, right? So here, so if if you wrote it on the even though even though the mice they erase kitten or rip up kitten, but the uh, mice it's a problem, yeah, because it was it has to have the ability to be written properly. Fine. Well, the Rava Akash Masnis and Aliyat Chalever. So then, according to Rava, what are you asking on this Gemara? Why don't you ask on our Mishnah that says that you're allowed to write a get on the hand of the Eved? So Mishnah Masnis and the Rava like Kasha. Be'ed Mesira. Find the Mishnah. We're talking about where there was Edim of the Mesira of the Evid being handed over, which is really enough. So we don't have to be concerned with the signal, right? Because we don't care about, I meaning if you hold Edim Mesira, that the main Edus of a get is to hand it over. So we don't care about the, the writing, right? I mean, you want the writing, but uh, right for Rebbe Lezi. And it's going according to Rebbe Lezer, who says that it's Eide Masira, the ones that hand see the get handed over is the main thing. El Rami Bar Kasha, but according to Rami Bar it's a Kasha, right? So the Rami Bar Nami like Kasha, we say according to Rami Bar it's not a Kasha. Bixuvas Kaka, it's talking about where they tattooed it onto the Eved, right? So therefore, it's there forever. Oh, Bixuvas Kaka is an Isser. Could be a deraisa, could be the rabbanon, but it's an iser mamish saying you're not allowed to do a surim with an eved, right? So that's a kasha. That is a kasha, right? I think Taisa says it. Um, Taisa is saying with the deraisa, there's no iser. No eid chasima or the tattoo artist is the eid chasima. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So then he said, Hashda das is lachi must listen. The Ravanami Latikshi Biksuvas Kaka. The Mishnah is also talking about where it was a tattoo by my Haviyalah. What's the Psak? My Haviyalah means what's the Psak? So Toshima, Dama, Resh Lakish, Ha Goidrois, Einlem, Chazaka. Animals don't have Chazaka, meaning anything that moves doesn't have a Chazaka. So Mamela, if an animal doesn't have Chazaka, who it belongs to? So an Evet also doesn't. So Mamela, since, since we don't have Chazaka, so animals anybody... don't move. They do, that's why. Since they move, there's no chazaka of, oh, this person came to Besden, they had the animal. Yeah, well, maybe the animal took a stroll down the block, right? A guy can't come to Besden and say, oh, you know, I found this dog in my property, so therefore, you see, it's my dog, because that's not a chazaka, because dogs have a mind of their own. So we're saying... When you say, say Ebed is diamond, diamond lagadars, Ebed is similar to an animal? I thought Ebed is similar to, to karka. I don't know. Well, for Noigea to Chazaka, to making a Chazaka on the on the Ever, that it's it would be like that. It's no Cheskes Koma, that's what the Gemara is saying. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, we'll stop over there. It's a little late, I'm sorry, but uh, it's an interesting daf. Fine. So, uh, all I right. Oilam should have themselves a fine, a fine night. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Yeah, uh, Mazda. 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 Thank you. All right. Um I really like